Hey everybody, this is Bruce, tall Vic old bull mastiff ridgeback Great Dane puppy. This is his first training session and we're going to be working on the basics. So keep an eye out on what we're going to be doing here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to charge up the word yes, letting you know that yes means food's coming. And we're using Frankfurt for treats, a high value treat. And it's also a soft treat so he can swallow it immediately. Yes. Yes. You're going to make sure you're saying the word yes randomly and not so he doesn't, predo um, so he doesn't predict when the treat's going to come. So I say yes. So you can really make the connection that yes. We also need to teach him how to eat a treat out of my hand. Sometimes it's easy to, to teach him to have your hand flat. Yes. So he learns to lick it out of a hand rather than nip it out of a hand. Puppies with sharp little teeth can bite your fingers and it can hurt a lot. And it's also, he also puts his whole mouth around a hand and it can, yes. Not be the most practical way. Yes. Yes. Good boy. We're also going to teach him the luring technique. So what I do is I have the treat in my hand and I lure my hand around. Yes. 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 This here is just teaching him follow my hand and a piece of treat comes and it's going to be the foundations and the building blocks to later training of sit down and come when cold. Things that you're gonna be seeing on through the videos throughout this video program. Yes. See how it builds his focus and gets him really, really focused on what I'm, what I'm doing rather than me being a product of him. Yes. Good boy. Yes. It's gonna also be a good tool for later on in his life so instead of me having to physically restrain him and pull him back i can get him to come up next to me so for example if i want him to sit next to me and be facing you with the treat in my hand i lower him backwards yes i can already yes yes this first day staying here with us so it's good to yes see his development but also with the distractions of other people and dogs walking around and with Bella barking in the back there, it's a good distraction. Sit. So you can see that he doesn't know what sit means, so I'm just really trying to find out what he already knows. Yes. Good boy, yes. I like to start teaching the sit with him sitting next to me and facing away because there's no point in him learning to do it facing me because if I'm walking on the street, I tell him to sit, I don't want him to get into the habit of facing me and get him to sit because I'm going to trip over him and it also loses a bit of practicality. Yes. So teach him to sit, I'm luring upwards. Yes. As long as, until his bum touches the ground, I say the word yes and reward. Very good. One more thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to start to introduce the down technique by using the luring technique. So, I'm going to get him up sit next to me. Yes. Good boy. I'm going to get him Yes. It's only the beginning steps. I'm only just teaching him to follow my hand down. Yes, good boy. I'm going to do this one more time and then I'm going to conclude today's training session. Yes, good boy. Very good. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. We're back once again with Mr. Bruce. 
We're going to be doing a little bit of puppy development training, continuing on, on, on our video series here, showing just a small step-by-step -step every couple of days, just taking a video showing you guys where he's at in terms of sit down, come when called, a bit of focus work, and getting him working with us rather than jumping all over us and carrying on. So yesterday, we were working a lot more on the jumping behavior. He was jumping on, a lot, on us a lot, and as much as it could be cute now while he's small and young, what's gonna happen when he becomes probably this part big, probably bigger than me, it can become a big problem for people. So best to start doing this stuff with your puppy while they're young to teach them good manners around us. What we're gonna work on today is I'm gonna show you how to work on the down command. So I've showed you in the previous videos how to work on the down. Now we're gonna to try to extend the down, make sure that he can stay in the down position for a bit of a longer period to build his mental focus on me. And I'm also gonna show you a bit on the come when called as well, the recall. Bruce, pop up. Good boy. So with my luring technique, I would like him to come up next to me. So I'm gonna show him with his nose what I've got. It's always important to show him what you've got with, with their nose, not with their eyes. Yes. Good boy. All right, let's get into it. So I'd like him to be next to me. Sit. Yes. Yes. Good. Down. Yes. Okay. Good boy. Always good to have a tree pouch on you. So today I'm being cheeky and I haven't got one on me at the moment. But that's okay. What I'm going to do now is when I command him to lay down, I'm going to move my hand away quickly and reward him again. And what's going to happen in that situation is that it's going to teach him not only to follow my hand, but the down command means keep your body flat on the ground. Yes. Or as long as you can until I pretty much tell him to release out of position. Down. Yes. 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 Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Da, da, da. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Good boy. This is also the one step stone towards the next um, process of the of the down command here because I need to start getting out of the, the habit of having treats in my hand and I need him to be able to do it just off a, off a verbal and a physical gesture with my hand pointing to the ground. But that will be in the later sessions coming. So, I'd like him to come up next to me. And the down, he must be in a sitting position at this stage. Down. Move your hand away. Yes. And the orbit. Yes. He drops a treat, try to pick it up. Yes. Yes. If you can look at me, I'll reward him. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Come on. Oh, you're lazy. You're being lazy. Good boy. So I do want to finish the down or any command that I'm teaching on a positive note. But I will do it one more time just on the side on view just so you can see what I'm doing here. Now the reason why he was not giving me too much focus into my eyes but onto the ground is because I dropped a couple of treats. I did make sure I picked them up as quick as I could. Because if I left them down there, then it's going to teach him to become a scavenger and to be looking for free food rather than getting food from me only. Bruce, come on, Bob. Probably not the best time of the day to be doing some training. It is around midday now, so he's getting a little bit tired. So see how he's pouring me, trying to get my attention? Yes, I only give it to him when he's being calm and relaxed, but not. don't give him attention or don't give your pup attention when they are jumping on you, clawing you and stuff. Yes. Good boy. So from a side perspective, sit. Very good boy. Good boys for praise. Yes, means food's coming. So this is very important to keep this consistent. If you're doing training with, with Nutris Pooches, you'll be familiar with the words and the commands as well. Down. Yes. 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 Very good, yes. Very good boy. Okay, good boy. So 
now I've got him on a lead here and I'm going to be working on the recall. Just one more thing actually before I move on to the next topic is when you start to work on your down with the luring, the lure command, make sure when you lure him down you move your hand away then reward him. Don't reward straight away when you've got him on the ground. The problem with rewarding him straight away moving your hand is that your dog will break position and the down won't really have much essence. So we really want to encourage what we're actually trying to teach him, not just to follow our hand, but to follow the command. So now, to do the come wing call, I'm going to show them, always show them with their nose what you've got. I want to walk up in one direction. Come. Yes. Good boy, okay. Okay. Let's have a leg. I'm going to walk straight. And say come. Yes. What I'm doing in this scenario is this is just the beginning stages of the come when called. So I'm teaching him if you follow my hand, keeping my hand in line with his nose, and I run backwards, it becomes a verbal command, which is come, and a physical gesture, bless you, buddy, a physical gesture, which is my hand in line with my knee. So you can see here that he knows what my hand has, so I want to keep that at his mo as his motivation. Come. Very good. I'm going to do this only one more time because he's starting to get tired and I do want to finish on a positive note. Good. We walk up straight. I put the tree in line with his nose. Come. Yes. Good boy. Oh, very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Remember that puppies are cute while they're small, but you always want to encourage behavior in a dog that is this big so we can set him up to win in the future. One thing I'd like to say before I wrap it up for the come when called, the recall, is that when I was running backwards, I did straighten my hand up, and he understands that when my hand goes up, it means for him to sit down. So then later on, while I'm teaching him, while he's in the park and he's out far away, I call him to come, he runs at me and he sits in front of me, not to run and barge me over or run past me, to keep a bit of structure to it. So remember one thing, tip of the day, is keep your, keep your structure, have a strong structural foundation, but always changing your routine. If you're always switching it up, then you become the most important thing in your dog's life. And that's very, very important, especially with all the distractions when we start to work with training outside of the backyard. Thank you very much, have a good day, peace. everybody here we have Bruce again on another session of our puppy development video series we're going to be showing you his progress over the last probably four days since we've done our last video and we're going to be working on doing the sit the down and the come when called the sit and the down we're going to be starting to learn how to do it without a treat because we need to learn how to get that treat out of our hand so we can start doing it with reliability and eventually with the more video sessions to come, we're going to start doing more of these training out and about when there's going to be more distractions. So, at first I'm going to get him in the zone because he's still, again, 13 or 14 week old puppy. Still very, very young, very enthusiastic and always a hungry boy since he's growing so much every day. So I'm just going to get him in the zone, remind him what I have so he can stop chewing on the end of the lead because that's obviously another undesirable behaviour. So show him with his nose what you got, let him smell it. Good boy! Sit. Okay, so that was a fail. Let's try this again. Sit. Yes. Yes. Awesome. So now I'm going to pretend that I have a treat in my hand, but at the moment there's nothing there. I'm going to say down. Yes. And I reward him immediately. Yes. Remind him he's done the right thing and I'm going to continue rewarding. Okay. Good boy. Very good boy. Yeah. Sit. Down. So one thing that we're going to start working on now, and you see that that wasn't really too successful, so I'm going to try it one more time, because it's only just the beginning of me starting to introduce it with no food, and they can get confused from time to time, thinking, well, why should I do the behavior if there's no food there? So I need to show them that if you 
follows with the command that he's starting to learn, he will still get the reward, delaying that instant gratification for a better reward later. Down. Yes. Good boy. Always important to have your treat pouch, so as soon as you know that he's done the right thing and that you're happy with the behavior, you mark it with our special word, which is the word yes, and then we go to the pouch and then we give it back to him. Okay? Good boy. Good job, watch out. Very good. Sit. Down. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Very good. So now that he sits at a better stage, I'm going to start to teach him to stay in position. So even notice just then how I, how I even got him to sit without having to say the verbal command. I had to just use my luring technique on its own. And there's two ways of him know, knowing to put his bum on the ground there. So now I want to teach him that I've told him to sit. I want to start to introduce to him that even though my feet are moving, yes, I still want him to stay in position. Yes. Yes. And then when we're happy with the behavior, we say, okay. Good boy. Good boy, Bruce. Very good. Sit. Very good. They okay work. Oh, okay. Sit. That okay word is an indication for him to break position and he's allowed to then run off and do whatever he likes. Obviously. Very good. Sit. Yes. Okay. Very good. Sit. Perfect. Down. Down. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good boy. Pop, pop, pop. Come. Yes. Okay. So all my luring at this stage of his training is all without a treat in my hand. So I'm really getting him understanding that treats doesn't always have to be in my hand and that he has to learn to follow my hand without a treat in it. For example. Sit. Down. Yes. Reward. One thing that he's going to struggle with now, yes, is me stepping off while he's still in the down position. So take a small step. Yes. And reward. Take a small step. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, you are. Good boy. Now the reason for that release command there is that people start to notice when they start to train their dogs that they tell them to sit, but then as soon as they step off to start to walk across the road or step off to even check if cars are coming and things like that, the dog then automatically breaks. And the reason why he does that is because he has learnt that the release command is the step off, but the release command in our training is that word okay. You can use whatever word you like as long as it's consistent with from the beginning. Now we're gonna work a little bit on the come when called and then we're gonna wrap it up because he's getting a little bit tired. And remember from our previous videos, we always wanna finish on a positive note. So he can have excitement when it comes to training and, and also he doesn't get confused and we don't, as a handler, become frustrated with, with that. So we'll do a little bit of come when cold and then we're gonna wrap it up. Good boy. Come. Yes. Good stuff. Come. Yes. Good boy. All right. You better chew your food, don't swallow it on the hole. Okay. 
That's going to be it for now. We're going to wrap it up for this.